Hey guys, you're watching official ZenLab tutorials and in this YouTube tutorial we will discuss how to use logic action in project editor. Ok, you can see that my dashboard I have opened test project and I drag here logic action from logic category it's if logic statement. Ok, it has only one field no any additional settings. So let's start filling this field and do an execution of it to learn how to use this logic. Basically it's JavaScript logic so it acts the same way and if you are familiar with syntaxes of JavaScript logic how to use if statement in JavaScript you know how to use it here as well. Basically we need two values which we compare the first value with the second value and we have a sign of comparison like it can be more, less, equal, not equal. Okay, also we have two more signs. It's for multiple comparisons like and, and, or. So we can check a few statements at one action. Let's begin. Usually we compare two types of data it rather numbers or string. If it's number it looks like this. For instance 2 more than 1. It's statements that we want to check. If we connect it we start and run debug. Our project executed successfully. Yeah because 2 more than 1 and it's true. But if we write here to more than three and run debug again. It will fail by known reason. Yeah, because two less than three, not more. That's why it fails here because it's false and it goes by this exit, unsuccessful exit. Okay. Also can compare value of verbal, for instance zip code and it's like this for instance and we can check it here. Okay we just put it here and check if it's equal to this code for instance. Okay it will fail now. Okay, if we stay in debug, we can see the comparison. Yeah, and you see that this statement is false, that's why it fails. Also, we can check if it's not equal to this. Then we'll successfully execute it. Okay, because this statement is true this number not equal to this number so it's true yeah so logical is very easy to understand it's like you compare something some numbers or string and JavaScript do the same for instance if we want to compare a string let's create new variable name Alex okay and we'll compare it. And when we compare a string, we need to use quotes. Okay, we wrapped in quotes our verbal macro and compare it if it's equal to Alex. Okay. This is successfully executed. Yeah, that's true. Okay, also as I already mentioned there are two more signs like AND and OR. Okay, and how to use them. For instance we already have one statement, this one, and we want to compare at the same time if variable zip code equal to this one. Okay, we have two statements in one action and they separated by AND 
sign okay let's run debug okay you can see that it's successfully executed because that's true Alex variable this one equal to Alex and this zip code also equal to the number okay and we have and between them it means that it's true only when this one true and this one true okay for instance when we use or it means that it successfully executed when they both true or one of them true at least one of them should be true for action to be successfully executed for instance we can change this comparison to this one this will be false if this one stay true so it will be successfully executed let's see okay because this one false but we have or it means if this one true that's successfully executed at least one of statement has to be true for this statement to be successfully executed it can be even more complicated we can add more signs here like one more and or or but it's seldom necessary usually enough to use just a few statements in one action just remember that you should use quotes when you compare a string and when you compare numbers you use them like this also one more thing that can be convenient you can add some math operations because it's JavaScript it will be executed fine like minus one 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 equal to this one okay it has to be equal let's run it okay yeah it's true okay you can see this statement so this mass operation first executed and then it's compared so it's all I wanted to explain in this tutorial thank you for watching bye